Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my review of episode 5 of season 4 of Slow Horses titled Grave Danger. The episode opens with Molly getting off of a bus and heading to her apartment. She then enters her apartment and hears a knock at the door. She goes to answer, and it is none other than Frank Harkness. He pretends to be a maintenance man and says he would like to check for a leak. Molly asks to see some ID, and he then unzips his jacket, revealing that he has a gun on him. Molly lets him in, and then we cut to River Cartwright and Emma at his grandfather's house. River is handcuffed and loaded into a vehicle so Emma can bring him to the park. We then see the camera that was planted by Frank's guy at David's house in the last episode. Back with Molly and Frank, now Frank reveals that he pretended to be someone from Molly's past in order to obtain the addresses of David Cartwright and Sam Chapman. Frank then says to Molly he needs to know where the dogs are taking his person of interest, which of course is River Cartwright. Molly says that they are taking him to the park. Frank wants Molly's fingerprint and access codes so he can track the whereabouts of River and the dogs on their way to the park. Frank threatens to hurt Molly if she doesn't give him what he wants. We then cut to the beautiful intro for Slow Horses. Back with Emma and River, now she was looking at the photograph of Frank and his team, and she asked River where he got this. River says he is not telling her anything until she tells him where his grandfather is. Emma agrees to give him five minutes with his grandfather. River says he is at Catherine's house, and Emma informs him that Divot is not there. Emma then calls Diana and informs her that she has River in her possession. Diana then asks Emma to bring her Adam Lockhead's passport. She then hangs up the phone. Emma gets back in the car. We're now with Lamb, David, and Catherine. David asks where they're going, and Lamb says to sit back and shut up. Now with Marcus, Shirley, and Louisa, Louisa finds out that Marcus sold the gun he had in that last episode to someone who sells to organized crime members. Louisa then gets a call from River's mother, and she reveals to her that River is not dead and the body was misidentified. Louisa then informs her that David is missing, and she doesn't seem to want anything to do with him. She says they haven't spoken in years and they'll find out later exactly why. With Ho and Moira at Slough House, it is revealed to Moira who is responsible for moving her to Slough House. It was indeed the decision of Claude. Louisa then orders a meeting with everyone at Slough House and orders Ho and the others to track down the man who attacks him last week and the backstreet doctor who patched him up. At the park, Diana informs Claude that River is on his way with Emma to the park. They then discuss how Adam Lockheed and Robert Winter's passport has been used over the years to carry out various murders, not just what's been happening recently. We then find out that Judy signed a paper that gives her no choice but to keep her mouth shut, otherwise she'll risk losing her job. Diana then says that they need to find out who pulled the trigger in David's bathroom and that keeping them both out of jail will buy them everlasting silence from the two, therefore preventing word from getting out. We're now back with Frank and Molly. Frank signs into Molly's computer and sees the location of River Emma and the dogs. Back again with Emma and River, River convinces Emma to forward the picture of Frank and his group to the park by saying if his grandfather dies, that is going to be on Emma's shoulders. Emma then calls Jitty and tells her to take the picture to Claude. Then David and Catherine then pull up to the cemetery where David's wife, Rose, is buried and Lamb begins to press David on what the deal is and what these people from France want. David simply says he did it for her, his daughter, Rose's mother. She was taken by Frank, so David sent Sam with the car, money, and weapons in order to get his daughter back. It is then revealed that David never told Rose about what he had to do in order to get their daughter back. They are after David and Sam now because they know they can both look into the Westaker's bombing and anyone who knows the connection is on their kill list. Patrice then shows up at Molly's apartment and Frank is still there. Frank pulls up the whole slow horses crew on Molly's computer and asks him who was there when he went to attack Sam but ended up getting hit by a car in episode 3. He says Lynn Shirley and Marcus were there. Patrice is then reprimanded for letting the horses get the upper hand on him. Frank then tells Patrice to go back to channel his grief and rage and to go to his station. Frank then checks to see where River and Emma are again. 
at the park, Gitta shows the photo of Frank and his crew to Diana, and she says to get their descriptions out there, and if they're in the country, she wants them brought into her. We then cut to Frank eating an apple overlooking the street as Patrice is stealing a truck to cause a roadblock to trap Cartwright, Emma, and the dogs, leaving them nowhere to run. At Slough House, Louisa calls Lamb to let him know that the dogs have River, and that Sam might not be safe. Lamb is now looking for Sam, and Catherine is bringing David back to Slough House to keep him safe. Frank then makes it seem like he's going to kill Molly now that he's gotten all the info he needed, but for some reason, he decided to spare her life. Molly then goes up to a bunch of envelopes with names written on them, one of those names being Claude. Back with River and Emma for the final time this episode, as they're about to reach the park. Patrice creates a massive roadblock preventing them from going anywhere and opens fire on everyone. Patrice takes out the dogs very easily and begins to fire at Emma and River. Emma and Patrice are going back and forth taking shots at one another until he manages to get close enough to Emma to smash her head into the vehicle, which ends up knocking her out cold. That leaves River on his own, handcuffed to the car. Patrice shoots the handcuffs free, grabs River, and throws him into the trunk of someone's car that he just killed. We fade to black with no idea where Patrice is taking River. This was my review and recap of Season 4, Episode 5 of Slow Horses. I hope you enjoyed it, and I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel for more weekly recaps in the future. My question for you guys after seeing this episode. Do you guys think Frank is River's dad? Leave your comments down below. Thank you and I'll see you next week for episode 6.